Who the f did this? For the last three weeks of my life, I have been working at this Rubik's Cube. And then when I finally get it finished, some douche canoe comes in and messes it up. I know it was you, Stephen Hawking! I did not touch your dirty black magic cube. You lousy drunk. So now I'm going to show you guys the technique that I've developed to solve a Rubik's Cube in three easy steps in less than 30 seconds. Are you going to use any kind of particle theory or algorithms, maybe some science? No, it has nothing to do with that! Goddamn scientist thinks he knows everything about solving a Rubik's Cube. Before we get started, I want to show you guys my new Russian screwdriver. Yeah, sure, maybe it's just a hammer wrapped in tinfoil with chapstick taped to it. But in Soviet Russia, every tool's a hammer. So to start, what you're going to want to do is find the white side of the Rubik's Cube. Alright, once you've found the white side of your Rubik's Cube, what you're going to want to do is put it down on the floor. Alright, this is where you can start the clock. Alright, first things first. Take your screwdriver and insert it gently into the middle of the cube. Once you have all your pieces gathered up into a small pile, you can begin reconstructing your cube. Um, kind of, kind of like so. When rebuilding your Rubik's Cube, you may need to use a little bit of scotch tape. Yeah, maybe just a little bit of scotch tape. And when you're done, your Rubik's Cube uh, will be good, good, good as new. And there you have it. You just solved the Rubik's Cube in under 30 seconds. Now if you'll excuse me, I gotta go call the Guinness Book of World Records, because I think we have a record breaker. Roll the Rubik's Cube facts! <laughs>